Did somebody say 46 and 0 double gunship? Perfect gameplay? You don't ever die? Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Georgia here. Welcome. Thank you for watching. As you can see, I do not do this by camping. This is full spawn trap, full court press, in the most efficient way possible. I'm going to teach you how to run the highest streaks and get them every single time. You will have the highest kills. You will have the lowest deaths if you just follow these very, very simple tactics. Enjoy. Team deathmatch. Now, first things first, hey, let me just them. say you know that what, what you're about to see is just the reflection of playing the same map for We're almost three this. different years of Call of Duty. That is an intersection of death, literally what I would call a first blood intersection. If two teams from opposite ends of the map run full speed down a route, that is the intersection in which they will meet. And I can always rely upon my friendlies pushing just a little too hard. And if that happens, I'm going to run back to the other side looking for the spawn flip. Now, if you're a total noob at Call of Duty, there's obviously spawn flips and spawn traps. I don't have to go into explaining too much of that. You can see this in a previous video that I posted years ago. This is all very elementary. Essentially, in Call of Duty, you spawn. That's going to be the end zone. If you run full speed at each other, this is going to be the 50-yard line. This could be the most dangerous area for the beginning of the game. But if you can push through that by getting just a couple of kills, you can get up to the 20-yard line of the enemy spawn and just waste it. As I'm making my play towards the 20 yard line now, it's the ideal place that you want to be. Mostly because when people are spawning, they ain't thinking about killing. They just want to run back to where they were. And when you make that move, what I like to do is move in little 15 meter increments at a time. And then I get them somewhere else. I want them to be going to my last location to try to shoot me so that I can always be shooting them in their ear or the back of their head. Now, if you do end up having to have a 12 on 12 gunfight, you want to be pre-firing. Always be pre-firing. Or prone. Or both. That would be the surefire way to do it. I mean, take the advantage wherever you can. Officer, do not shoot at me. Fucking friendlies, am I right? <laughs> this is what noobs do when they don't have Team Link activated. It's a spawn flip. Duh. Obviously, I know from having Team Link activated, seeing all the blue friendlies literally shining through the wall, that there's going to be an enemy coming around the corner in just a couple seconds. Yep, just like clockwork. If you have Team Link and you follow that with your kill feed, you'll know precisely where everybody's at. Now, if I hadn't have been so close to my streaks, I might have just ran around that corner and risked the 12 on 12 gunfight. Still having Team Link activated, I know that right now the spawns are in a bit of a flux. I'm trying to figure out which side to go to. And yes, that is a verified flip here that I just saw with all the friendlies being on the other side of the map now. However, my strike team is incredibly powerful. This will no doubt flip back almost immediately. If I move forward here, it's not going to do a difference. The strike team is going to wipe them out. And although my friendlies might be moving in that direction to get one or two enemy kills, they ain't going to be there for long. This is going to be the new spawn. I was there before they even knew they were going to be there. So I was inherently risking nothing by moving forward there. They were not moving forward on me. All they were doing was spawning. Take a little breather here, just appreciate the gunship. So, patience is a virtue, you know? Wait for the right time to move. Don't just move randomly. Like, I'm all for pushing forward. Don't, like, don't get me wrong. Um, but there is a time and a place to reload your weapon, to fall into street, to earn your street. I should say, when you do earn your street, if you can, try to get in a better hiding spot. If you don't, then... Keep an eye on your map while you're shooting your gunship and try to protect yourself. That little yellow triangle, that's you. Protect that yellow guy. And hopefully if you don't die or get stabbed in the back while you have your laptop out operating your gunship, you can start stacking these for your next one. Lucky for me, I gunship flipped them right back into the sights of my rifle. Lucky me. Keep flipping the way you're looking at them. Keep covering your angles. Do wind. not, do not stay in the same place for too long. Somebody will do something. They'll call a dog on you or something. We're doing a little bit of a tactical retreat here. This is an easy, easy play that's repeatable, scalable, and will max the possibilities of what kill streaks can do for you in this game. Again, 
I'm in the corner because I reloaded, put out my health pack, hold in two or three streaks. Believe me, I've been killed several times thinking I could just randomly run and gun and call in my streaks, reload at the same time. Fact, you cannot fire your firearm while calling in a streak. You cannot fire your firearm while reloading, while calling in a health pack. You cannot throw your laptop at them. Just take the moment and the time to get prepped for your gunfights. Chances are, if you're more patient, you'll be swinging at strikes as opposed to dirt balls and just anything a pitcher throws at you. You choose which gunfights you're going to get into. Not them. 46 and 0. Flawless victory. Now, if you're curious at all about my class setup, I'm going to go over all that right now. And let's start with the kill streaks. If you can see from the medals, I earned precisely 17 kills with the gunship, 8 kills with the strike team, 4 with the sniper pilot. I'm literally attaching almost 30 kills to my 17 kills with the rifle. You can't afford to run any other streak other than sniper pilot, strike team, gunship. I mean, sure, you could probably run the thresher, which will kill you. You could run the attack chopper, which will be hacked. But these streaks right here, these are the best streaks in the game. Use them. I know it might look as if you're going to have to get 16 kills to get a gunship, but that just is not true. I've easily been able to squeeze out just over 2,000 gunship kills, 3,000 strike team kills, and over 4,000 sniper pilot kills. Putting me on top. 205. If you want a big, beefy KD like me, this is what you do. First, attach Crass as your operator. He throws out assault pack ammo, which gives you 125 points per kill. Once you have it equipped, for every four kills you get, you're essentially getting a fifth kill for free. Eight kills, two kills for free, so on and so forth. This is not even mentioning the fact that if people pick up your ammo, you also get points for that. Obviously, Crash has his med pack. You're gonna be getting a shit ton of points for that for every player that you apply that to. And then from there, attach the comm set. That will bring you one kill closer to getting your streak as well. Other must-haves, gung-ho, you want to fire your weapon faster while you're running, uh, yes. Dead silence, oh my god. People can hear you coming from almost 50 meters away. They're going to turn the corner and shoot before you even turn the corner yourself. Got to run perk 3 greed because you can't do without team link. You saw yourself, you want to be ahead of everybody else, not behind catching up, running 100 meters in every direction to a spawn that is already flipped by the time you get there. You don't want that. You want to know where everything's at before anybody else does. From there, let's move on to the gun preferences. So it's been quite a while since Call of Duty has made any sort of hardcore game mode where your weapons actually kill somebody in one shot. This is why I recommend using an assault rifle during hardcore game modes. From there, add more range to it. FMJ and long barrel. It's gonna increase your range and it's gonna mow anything down this close. From there, assault rifles are naturally pretty slow. Attach a quick draw, especially if you're running hardcore, because you wanna be quick. You need to get those first rounds in somebody before they do to you. And that's it. That's all the advice I have on playing Black Ops 4 multiplayer and how to get a perfect score practically every single time. Now you might wonder why I'm making this video now in lieu of Modern Warfare. Well, that's simply because everybody knows that Modern Warfare is not true Call of Duty multiplayer. They got rid of Dead Silence, which means it's Call of Doors now. You want to move anywhere in that game? It's going to be a lot more like this. People can literally hear you walking from across the map, much less running sounds like a freight train. You can't attach Dead Silence to run up to anybody, so... Pretty much everybody sits behind the door with claymores, respawning them out their butts. There is no mobility in Modern Warfare. So if you want to play a true Call of Duty multiplayer game, the last one that exists is Black Ops 4. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to be doing the same tactics against Prestige Masters. Yes, Prestige Masters. They are no match for me. Goodbye.